Hey guys. Um, <laughs> I come up with the craziest little ways to like put my camera, where to put it without actually getting out a tripod. Um, this is actually my GoPro, so I don't have a tripod for it yet or an adapter or whatever. And it's sitting on the charger, so it's kind of pretty funny how it's like all set up. Like it's kind of a crack up. But anyways, um, so I get asked this question quite often and um, I just thought to do a video for you guys. Um, so everybody always asks me, am I going to make this van a high top? And I have thought about it a lot. I've researched it a little bit. Usually to make this a high top, it costs about four to $6,000 on average. Um, there's a couple places where I live, at least one or two places where I live that would be able to do that. Um, true, I probably could come up with the money to do that. Um, but for me, if I did, I would make it a pop top, but I don't really think I'm going to do that. Um, because I do have a solar panel on top, and it's probably like a 100, 150 watt solar panel, so it's a pretty big solar panel. Um, I probably could get away without having the solar panel because I do have a battery isolator and I do drive a lot, but I always think if I'm boondocking somewhere, it's great to have the solar panel because then if I'm not driving around and I'm just sitting somewhere like in a campground or something, then I will still have power. So it'll keep the battery topped off. So it's why I still have a solar panel. Um, uh, but it's, I do a lot of, um, uh, urban boondocking basically so I travel around all through a couple different cities for my work being a dog walker pet sitter that sort of thing um, and then when I'm not doing like pet sits you know I will park on the street or whatever and it's like you really kind of if I had like a pop top it's like you kind of can't really use it I think it would look like more you wouldn't be really incognito now true a lot of people park their big ass RVs on the streets and it's like, obviously, they live in that, you know, you can tell, you know. But I think I would probably maybe get more harassed more. And um, I think I should have prepared more for this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just thought, hey, um, I should answer this question because everybody asks it. But um, and it's still early, so I haven't had my caffeine yet, and this is what happens when you do videos, and I haven't had my caffeine. But, um, but yeah, I don't really want to make this a pop top or a high top. As great as it would be, I just think it's kind of hard, because there's times I go through drive throughs at fast food restaurants out of convenience, and I'm just like, this is so awesome. All those people with RVs and high tops could not fit through here, because with my roof rack, this van already sits at 7 foot six inches high with to the top of my roof rack so that's already pretty high and it's a bit lifted in a way with big tires and things like that so it's a pretty higher up van already to begin with so I fit through lower trees in my clients driveways and things like that um, I really and then you know sometimes you have problems of the high tops or even pop tops leaking eventually I want to put in a fantastic fan I would rather have the fantastic fan and ventilation and my solar panel than height clearance um, I forget how high it is inside um, I could probably be on my knees and not hit my head I'm only five foot five and a half so for me the height clearance in this van doesn't really bother me I think only if I'm cooking in my kitchen on top of my countertops for a long period of time is the only time that kind of bothers me. I used to have a big exercise ball that I would sit on to do my cooking or I mean there's times I just you know use my little fold up table and I cook on top of that or I will um, just cook on the floor or something like that you know put a big baking sheet huge baking sheet down and you know cook or do stuff on top of that so it's kind of nice you know to be able to like sit down while you're cooking so it doesn't really bother me um the size of this and everything works great um so i don't i don't think i will i've really thought about it and i've gone back and forth and there's times i'm like yeah like six more inches would be good because I'm not very tall so you know and there's times that I'm in other people's RVs and I'm like yeah I kind of miss having to get to stand up but the thing is 
I'm not in my van very many hours in the day. It's like at night to go to bed, basically, and a little bit of time in the morning. But my whole day is spent dog walking or I'm out hiking or riding my bike. So it's not like I'm in it 24 seven like some people. So some people really need that height clearance um, or if they're like really tall. So I'm actually like, the right size I think for this van like it works out fine for me and I forget how hard it is for other people until they come to visit and they're like hanging out in the van for a while and I'm like yeah you probably couldn't do van life or if they're pretty you know heavy set you know chunky whatever and they have a harder time like scrunching up or whatever me I guess because I am young and I'm fit and to sit Indian style on the floor doesn't bother me to sit on my little mini couch doesn't bother me so it's like all those little things like I forget how it is for other people, you know, because I've already, you know, had this span a year and a half. So for me, it works out like fine. Um, and I'm never bothered by the height inside. It's not enough for me to be like, I gotta change that. I wanna save up and buy a high top, you know. I just feel like, you know, if you add four to six thousand dollars to this van, sure, I only bought it for, I think, thirty five hundred. Um, if you add another four to six thousand dollars just to do a pop top I almost feel like you might as well just to do a pop top or even a high top I feel like you might as well just go buy another vehicle that already has that on it you know or might as well get yourself like a class B sure that's gonna be like a lot of money but it's like more meant for it you know so and I always kind of feel like a lot of times they're not really as stealthy. I feel like this really, really, really blends in. I never get harassed. I don't like to be harassed, you know, and I don't, I like it to be like nobody really knows, you know, so I don't get bothered. I don't get harassed. I don't, you know, it just, and I think for my clients too, <clears throat> excuse me, especially when I meet like a new client, it's not like, oh, she lives in her van. Some of them have joked about it when I meet a new client. They're like, wow, your van's, like, so big. You could probably live in that. And I just laugh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I take it camping and on road trips, and then it helps when I have, like, really big dogs i got to take somewhere. And, and if there's ever a natural disaster, I'm fully prepared because I have everything. And it's great to have a fridge in there and a little kitchen so I can make food. Or when I'm pet-sitting, I have all my stuff you know, food and supplies to be able to cook something because some people have very dirty, messy houses that I do not want to cook in, <laughs> you know? So, or they have white countertops. Like, I'm not going to make spaghetti on there, sorry. <laughs> you know, things like that. So there's times I really like just having everything with me in the size. This fits in everybody's driveway. And it fits in any parking spot, anywhere. Like, I live in a very, very densely populated city so it works perfect you know the size that this van is sometimes it could probably go a couple feet shorter I think but I don't know it just means it would make everything different so I don't know it's fine um, but yeah I'm gonna stop this off now <laughs>